watchman here. Quality never, quality never. Okay, I'm sitting here at the, um, I'm inside. Sitting at the workbench here. Uh, various, <laughs> um, I haven't really done a whole lot here at the bench. Um, got a pile of stuff here I'm going to rob wheels off of and whatnot. Um, I just haven't had time to have fun. Uh, fun. Uh, I've been, um, I, I guess you've heard about my problem with the bags, the plastic bags. I'm putting cars, I'm putting, putting cars in these bags, right? I bought hundreds, you know, probably, I don't know, three or four, five thousand of these bags. These little two by three. And they just rot and decompose. And, um... I had them in big tubs. It was kind of a pain to sort through. Had them in big tubs, and I go to look for something, and then half the cars are out of the bags because the bags just rotted. So I spent the last uh, couple months buying jammers, and I got myself a laminator for Christmas. Uh, so I've been I've been playing. So here, check it out. See what you think. Jammers. For days, I think I have. <sighs> I think I have two hundred and thirty jammers now. Uh, I'm not sh sure what that translates into cars. They're not all full. Some of them are like um, designated Corvette, Mustang, or whatever. So they only have Mustangs in them, and they may not be full. So. So I've been working on that, making my little labels, trying to get organized. I sold off a whole mess of my model kits. Uh, I've probably sold 300 model kits uh, over the last couple, three months. Uh, just because I just, I don't know when I'm going to have time uh, to get to them. And uh, I got rid of a bunch of stuff that I kind of just was over. So, uh, And then I've been organizing all my little parts and stuff up there. So that's all looking good, you know. And then I created this uh, shelf here on top of this. Remember this gizmo? Part of my other workbench. I created this shelf here out of some one inch steel. And then I had these glass um, panes from windows. So these windows, I, I probably had, I think, 12 of these windows. And they were in frames and everything. I dug them out of the trash years ago. Years ago. And I finally uh, decided to figure out what to do with them. So I built my I built this uh, little shelf thing here, and I kind of dig it because I got more room for uh, storing all or displaying some of my goodies, and all the gas stations and whatnot. Just place to put crap. As you know, you can never have enough room. Um, what else? Haven't really done much uh, diorama work. Haven't done any customizing. I've been picking up some cars. Uh, I'll pop into uh, Walmart here and there. And I got lucky the other day and uh, found some black 52s and some pink 52s, a couple of some Mazdas. Um, what else? Oh, some 55s. I dig the 55s. The, the 55 Chevys. Got a few of them. Um, but yeah, haven't done a whole lot of hunting. Used to go twice a day. Now maybe, now maybe if I pop in twice a week. So, um, I'm working on a Poochman Motors. So if you don't know, Poochman Motors is on the Facebook, selling uh, some of my cars that uh, I'm no longer interested in, selling them off. And here's my fulfillment center here. I even printed out little names for everybody. Uh, instead of instead of that, I have that. So yeah, it's organized. I like organization sometimes if I can pull it off. But anyway, I got boxes stuff here, filling that. So Poochman Motors, go check me out. I just loaded a bunch of stuff tonight. Uh, all these jammers here, I put up on there. Buck a piece, two bucks a piece, whatever. Um, been having some pretty good luck with my little flash sales. I'll have a flash sale every now and then. I'll, I'll announce uh, 
uh, 10 minute flash sale or whatever and I've been having some fun with that um, oh one thing here I found I've had this in the package for years many years and I've looked at it when I got it I looked at it and I just noticed the other day the back wheel WTF what the flip so I kind of didn't want to open it because I kind of dug the package and everything and I love these haulers you know I got a bunch of, I got a few of these haulers uh, in the back there I don't know if you can see them or not the back and I just I don't know because it was all it was kind of cool but I'm looking at that back wheel man like what what really so I'm I decided I'm gonna crack it on camera so you guys can see and so I can figure out what's going on so are these are these cars like decomposing like the plastic bags I mean are our cars after we keep them for well I've got hot wheels I've got the red lines and the the wheels the little plastic hard shelled wheels they're like cracking so I mean is our collections just like I just decompose over the course of our lifetime kind of stinks it's funny I'm gonna crack this thing open and get a look at this car because I was bummed out I was bummed out man so I mean, I would have thought I would have noticed it um, when I got it, you know, because it's rather obvious. I've never even seen one of these. Oh, that's pretty nice. Now, why? That's a matchbox casting, right? Why wouldn't they make that? That's way better than the. Um, what's that other little hauler that Hot Wheel makes? That's freaking dope. What a Ford F600. <laughs> All right, let's get a look at this uh, hauler here. Tires on the hauler look good. All right, a little transporter. But what's going on with. Look at that. What? Look at that. I mean, I've never taken it out of the package. I mean, it's pretty obvious something happened there. So what is it? What gives? It even looks, look at that front tire. And the back tire looks like it shrunk or something. Dude, what the heck? Look, the front tire comes off, it's rubber and soft. Back tires like the back tires have shrunken and they're hard. That's like I don't understand what happened here. Why is this tire a smaller diameter? Could, could I have got it like this and not noticed it? I mean, am I that lame? Is the quality here that lame? Look at those back wheels. Like, what? Well, the good news is I ordered some wheels from... Um, I'm going to mess this up. Shopmonoblock.com Shopmonoblock.com um, I've seen the name and I've seen other people using the using the wheels and stuff but I, I guess I just haven't been paying attention anyway I somebody posted on Instagram that they got a set of them a couple sets of them and I saw the the uh, website on the label on the package and they all go check it out and like Really? The, these wheels are pretty cool. All kinds of different colors and th three different uh, styles and whatnot. So this car right here is going to get a set of uh, monoblocks. Of course, I didn't order. I didn't order black ones. 
I change it up. That's disappointing. Like, what? I don't, anyway. I don't want to think about it. I'm bummed out. So anyway, mono, uh, shopmonoblock.com. I'll be doing a review. When I get them, I'm going to do a review. I'm going to bust them all open. Uh, maybe we'll do up a couple. Maybe I'll do, yeah, maybe I'll do this Caterpillar. A couple other cars. Check it out. Um, so an, an alternative to um, buying the stupid uh, adult collectibles that have now gone up to six something a piece or whatever. I I won't buy them. The Walmart over here has those Econoline um, as these. There's about 10 of these. I'd buy every single one for three or four bucks. Not for six and a half dollars. Negative. And nobody else is, is doing it either. And the M2 uh, Coca-Cola series. Have you seen those? Uh, well, almost nine bucks or nine something or whatever. Uh, I went in the Walmart the other day and somebody got pissed off and smashed the whole, there's a whole peg full of them. They just crushed them, smashed them. Like, forget it. Nobody's buying this stuff. So, anyway, but I'm always looking for wheels, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm excited to get these wheels, and I'll do a video for you, and uh, we'll check them out. Okay, so what else? Uh, just that's it. Some of my tubs had these signs on them, and so I pulled the uh, pulled the signs off, and I've been using these magnets. The Harbor Freight has these little neodymium magnets. I love these things. They're super strong, and uh, use them for all kinds of quality things around here. Be sweet. Be sweet. Um, what else can we yap about? Oh, Matchbox. Have you seen these little trailers? Matchbox has these little trailers. Dude, I put a joke. You can take the the boat off of them, and then. Uh, Probably hog them out and do some kind of a make a holly holly trailer out of it. But look at the detail on the back of these trailers. Yeah. Dead put in your ash. Right? A little sweet little trailer. And um I got me one of these. I dig the colors, but I'm probably going to change the wheels and the base on it because that's whack. I dig the colors. I don't know. Is that a thing now? Are they going to make uh, like alphabet cars? That would be that would be pretty cool. You could do the little alphabet. Is that what this is? I don't know. And um, and then I got me a um, the demon. Is it this one? Yeah, th this one, uh, which one is it? One of these things is whack. The paint on it is horrible. It's like real thin, yeah, it's this one's real thin. It had a bunch of dust particles and stuff in it. It's all these little, little boogers and goobers in the paint. It's horrible. Look at the detail in the back. Beautiful. Look at the gas filler neck. It's got the little demon symbol. You get to the front, <laughs> nothing. Come on. So I'm gonna uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something with the front end of that. I'm gonna open up the scoop, open up the those inboard headlights for the intake. Yeah, cool. It's got little skinnies on the front. Yep, we do it. Big chubbies in the back. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I had a hard time buying this one, Johnny Lightning. That was, I was gonna get two of them, but these were what six? How much was this one? Oh, I forget how much it was. They had a black one. I hate black cars, but I was gonna get it just because it was a a Nash. But I put it back because I didn't want to spend that kind of money. But I, got, I had to have that one. Peace, sweet. Peace, peace, sweet. Oh, I got me. I picked up a few of these. These little units. I'm digging that one. Uh, 
that's pretty much it. I guess I'm going to wrap it up. I'll just leave you with a tip. Um, you know, the tip of the day I always do. They're pretty helpful. You know, I get a lot of comments. You know, people appreciate them. And, uh, you know, they put them in use in their, in their uh, daily lives. And uh, really just, uh, you know, adds quality to their life. So I just keep doing it, you know. Because it's all about, it's all for the fans. The quality, everything I do is for the fans. So here it is, tip of the day.